Good morning, modern setters. This morning we're gonna be making our bread. It tastes like Panera Bread's country white bread. Super simple recipe. Just need a few ingredients. We let it sit overnight and rise. Tomorrow we're going to a soup party. So we're gonna be making some bread to bring to the soup party. I'm gonna start off with our dry ingredients. We're gonna need three cups. And you just want to use a good all-purpose flour. You don't want a bread flour. You're gonna need a teaspoon of salt. We like our pink Himalayan salt. It has minerals in it and gives it a little extra flavoring. You're gonna need a teaspoon of yeast. Grab a fork. Just want to mix up our dry ingredients. You're going to need a cup and a half of room temperature water. it on medium low. <laughs> that only took about one minute. It's gonna be shaggy looking like this. I just take my fork and clump it all together. It's not gonna look like a normal bread recipe when you're done mixing it. You just want it shaggy. We're gonna put it into a bowl. We're gonna cover it with a rag and let it sit overnight. This recipe calls for no kneading and for letting it rest, rise for eight to 12 hours. If you don't have that much time, what I've done, I only have about five hours. I'll add one and a half teaspoons of yeast and it'll rise faster. If you add too much, you're gonna taste that yeast. So you only want to add a little bit and give it more time. So now we're going to let this sit and we'll come back tomorrow morning. The next one, I have you made your cup of coffee. And your dough is risen. You got to flour your workstation. Keep a little bit in my hands. If you're gonna be putting it in a loaf pan, just lightly flour your loaf pan. We're only gonna make one of our loaves in a loaf pan. We made enough to make three. So I'm gonna, one of them is a double batch here. Break it off the sides. We don't wanna knead it. Get it into a ball. Flowering it a little bit so it's not so sticky. I'm going to find what I think is half of the loaf. Take one of the balls, turn it inside out, so you got a nice pretty side facing up. Put that back in your bowl, we're going to cover it, this other one, we're going to use this for sandwich bread this week, so I'm going to put it in my loaf pan, and I like to stretch it out and press it into the corners. Cover this one up, let it sit. Take our last dough, same thing. I'm 
Now it's been sitting for a while, so the top of it's gonna be a little crusty, which is fine. I like to, when I'm turning it into a ball again, I like to keep that on the bottom and have the nice fresh side facing up. Put that back in the bowl after I flour the bowl. We're gonna cover them up. We're gonna let them sit for another half hour before we do our next step. I wish I could say the magical elves came and cleaned up my mess in the kitchen for me, but they don't. While we let those rise for the next half hour, let's go feed the chickens and the pigs. Ready to go out? Come on in. The pigs are waiting for us. Come on, girls. You girls are all chirpy and cheery this morning, huh? Want some water? After a half hour, you want to preheat your oven to 450. And if you want round loaves of bread, you're going to want to put an oven safe pot in the oven to preheat. Your pot or pots are going to need lids, but don't put them on while they're preheating. Once your oven's preheated, it's going to be right around a half hour. You want to take your Hot out. Watch out, they're gonna be very hot. You wanna keep the pretty side up. You're gonna wanna put lids on them. If you don't have a lid, find a plate or you can put parchment paper on top of it. But don't use wax paper. <clears throat> if you don't want a round loaf, if you want bread one, I just take my bread pan without preheating it and put it in the oven. And I'm going to set the timer for a half hour. Oh, that looks 
looks beautiful. If you want a crispier crust, you can take the lid off and bake them for another five to 15 minutes. But I like it this way. We really like this bread recipe. It's very simple, easy, and versatile. Make some nice artisan bread with it, some nice sandwich bread, and if we had something smaller to cook them in, we could make some nice bread bowls for our soup too. That'll be the next thing we have to try out. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, now's a perfect time to do that. While you're down there, ring the bell. That'll turn on notifications, and YouTube will let you know every time we upload a video, go live, or post something to our community tab. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, the guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.